folks, we are finally on the water. Well, the boat's been on the water for the last few months, but we are on our way. Only the second big trip of the season. Woohoo! That's right, we are on our way, like I say, for the second big trip of the season. Only the second big trip of the season. It's August 20 uh, something. Uh, I think it's the last weekend of August. I think because uh, next weekend is Labor Day already. Well, so uh, I've taken a couple of days off this week and we are heading north. We are going up to a place on the Trent Summer Waterway known as the Wabak. I believe I've taken you there once before uh, without much fun, fanfare, but we've been there. If you look at my videos, you'll you'll find it. Great little spot. It's a little restaurant on the side of the Severn River, and there's not much else there but the restaurant. But they do offer uh, overnight docking with shore power hookup. No water or any other facilities, but that's a nice spot. It's a great place just uh, to spend the day. In our case, it'll be the afternoon and the evening and watch boats go by. It's pretty and then we hope to move on from there. So we have to go through two locks on the system. Uh, today we've got to go through lock 42, Kuching lock, as well as the subsequent one, 43, which is Swift Rapids and the biggest conventional lift of a lock on the whole system. And this will mark only the first time since 2015 that we've actually transited through a lock. Wow. Anyways, looking forward to doing that. Looking forward to spending a few days away on the boat. And uh, we're going to take you along. Just coming up on the railway swing bridge. This is going to be the first time we've uh, been able to get through here without the bridge swung in eight years since we had the last boat. Or, sorry, two boats ago. The 300. girl says we had lots of room lots of clearance but wouldn't you know it just as we're passing <laughs> it's a big trawler coming right up behind us so they're swinging the bridge anyways oh well good to know we can clear it without issues lots of room it's fine good So we successfully made it through lock 42, hoo-ha. First time in this boat, first time this year. 
and now we uh, just cross Sparrow Lake, um, which is about maybe a mile and a half, two miles across, and the only place that you can do any speed along here uh, as we're going back into the river. So, well, this is actually the Severn River proper, and this is where it gets really nice and rocky and really rough looking uh, terrain, which is really pretty. So, we're going to carry on and uh, hope for the sun to come out. I mean, they were predicting sunny day today in this area at home everywhere, but it's still mostly cloudy, low clouds, and cool, really cool for October. And it's really cool for August as well. So we hope that things are gonna warm up and get sunny like they were prognosticating on the weather apps. Like they always say, a bad day on the boat beats a good day at work anytime, right? So we shall move forward. And there's ice cold Corona in the fridge too. So <laughs> wait for me when we get to our next stop, our stop for the evening. Corona. Appreciate your help. You did a fine job. No, thank you again. Well, as you can see, we made it here safely and soundly. We are at the world famous Wabak restaurant on the beautiful Severn River. And uh, a couple of notes I like to make is that it is cooler than it's been <laughs> since the beginning of July, end of June. Um, but that's just the way it is. Uh, it's supposed to get really cool tonight, but that's okay. It's been cool all day. Look at this sweatshirt with a t-shirt underneath. I actually had the sweatshirt off when we first got here because it was kind of warm but then we went for dinner over here at the restaurant and I actually came back to the boat to put it on 
uh, to grab the sweatshirt again I should say and I also grab my green hoodie jacket for anchor girl right because her t-shirt sweatshirt or sweater I should say and uh, that wasn't wasn't enough so she put that on as well but it's okay it's beautiful the sun is out now it looks like the sun the, the clouds are mostly parting out and it's uh, nice the other thing I want to mention is that it's nice to finally be out on the open water no we're not at anchor but we are on a floating dock and with the boats going by like you just heard buddy go screaming by it's great to have that feeling of the motion of the boat again, which we've never had on the big boat, the 400, right? Had to be pretty rough for it to, to get that boat to bounce around when we were tied up at a dock. And here we are, and uh, the water's coming in, the waves are coming in from the last boat that just went by, and it's great to feel the boat moving. It actually feels like we're on a boat. So it's going to be a, a good sleep tonight. And then tomorrow, we take off westward from here to another destination but it's good to be back here at the Wabak first time as I was telling Anchor Girl in five years mm -hmm. since we were here last and how time flies so it's nice to be here nice to be away from our home port marina because uh, that gets a little lame after a little while um, so here we are out and about watching the boats the local yokels go screaming by here or coming into the restaurant for dinner. It was all good. Don't knock my beer over. Okay, tell everybody why you're closing that. Already cold. It's cold. Sure. First time we get to go away. And it's going down to seven degrees Celsius tonight, folks. That is equal to about 42, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. They said make sure the boat is tied up loosely so it doesn't freeze in overnight. You don't have to do it up, just zip it down. It ain't gonna go anywhere. Oh my grief. So you got a bag going, eh? Yep. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Daily updates there and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you can find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.